Assistant Vice President of Public Affairs, Diversity and Environmental Affairs for HEB. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining us today to welcome you to your brand new HEB McGregor Market. I don't know if you can tell, but we are all incredibly excited to be here and to bring you this beautiful new store. We hope you're equally thrilled and excited uh, to help us share this excitement with the community. And I know I see everybody with their cell phones, so I encourage you to pull out your cell phone, take pictures, selfies, really videos, and share them on social <laughs> media oh, oh, via the hashtag ATV McGregor Market. We really want you to help us share the news about this incredible new store. And not only are we committed to bringing you convenience, quality selection, and unsurpassed freshness, we're also committed to the environment, which really stands out at this store. Located just off the banks of the Brave Bayou, ATB McGregor Market is home to an active and protected wetland. And you'll see uh, from some of the signs, look outside, it's really a cool, unique feature of this store. You know, throughout construction, the team made it a priority to preserve and enhance the natural habitat that borders the property along McGregor Way. Visitors will enjoy sightings of cooper hawks, yellow crowned night herons, red mulberry trees, and much, much more, all in the center of the country's fourth largest city. You know, we started looking at locations many years ago to better serve this community, and we identified this property in 2014. We broke ground February 9th of this year, and here we are today, December 17th, 10 months later, ready to open for business. So many taking us a minute to work the land again, but as soon as we were able to break ground, the store came up right away. So I do want to recognize our construction team. They have done an incredible job, and you'll see at the end of the program today how amazing the store really is. You know, it really has been a journey uh, to get to where we are today, and we're so thankful to each and every one of you who helped make this store a reality. From real estate, to research, to environmental engineering, to elected officials, community leaders, and influencers, it has exemplified a true partnership focused on collaboration and teamwork. I'd like to thank our elected officials, specifically Mayor Turner and Mayor Parker, without whom this project may not have come to fruition. Thank you. And I'd also like to give a very, very special thanks to Council Member Dwight Boykins, who has been a strong advocate for this community and the residents of District D. He was a steadfast supporter of this project, participating in weekly meetings with the Houston Housing Department to identify and help overcome challenges for the property. And I also want to say a special thank you to his wife, Janora. Yes. You know, the right is laser focused and we work diligently with key members of the city to help bring an HEB store to this community. So for your leadership and your partnership, thank you so much, Council Member Boykins. Thank you. I'd also like to thank uh, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. She's not here today. I think we all know she's taking care of business in Washington, D.C. Um, but she's been a long-term supporter, both near and from afar. And I'd also like to recognize Leisha Green Ellis, who was invaluable in keeping everyone aligned and the project on track. Now I'd like to take a minute to recognize our HEB team, some of our members from our HEB team. A real heartfelt thanks to Terry Williams. Where's Terry? Regional Vice President. For his passion, his commitment to our customers, both old and new. He is truly focused on making sure our customers can find the products they want and need in this store. I'd also like to recognize his wife, Joycelyn, and he's here with his mom, Mary Williams. Terry uh, mentioned to me that his dad was a greeter at the initial OST and Scott store, which uh, is a little over 30 years old now. So, Terry, thank you so much for your leadership. Lisa Helfman, former director of real estate for the Houston region, who now works with me as the director of public affairs, for Houston and John Rose, Senior Due Diligence Manager at HEB. These two individuals, Lisa's been a part of helping find the property, working with White and others, and John Rose, where's John? Did a great job in helping us get this store on the ground. 
you know, this was the true definition of a community partnership. And I'd also like to recognize all of those who've been part of this process. The City of Houston Department of Housing and Community Development, Tom McCaslin. Is Tom here? They have, and Anna Patino Martinez, the Houston Housing and Finance Corp. Reddick Edwards, where, where's Reddick? I saw Reddick earlier. Thank you so much. And Jeff Smith, thank you. Without your support, this would not be possible. Now, if you've been involved with this store in any way, please raise your hand. Any, we have so many people to thank and recognize. So wow, as you can see, the unwavering support from our neighbors and support community really helped us turn this collective vision into a reality, and we are truly humbled. I'd also like to give a special recognition and shout out to someone who really needs no introduction, and I just arrived, so I'm really excited that he made it. I'd like to recognize Reverend Bill Lawson. Let's give him a round of applause. was an integral part of bringing the OST and Scott store to the community over 30 years ago. That store opened in December of 1996. So Reverend Lawson, thank you for all that you mean, not only to this community, but to the city of Houston, and we appreciate you and everything that you do. I'd also like to recognize Dr. Teddy McDavid. Is Dr. Teddy McDavid here? There's Dr. Teddy McDavid. Dr. Teddy McDavid has been a longtime community champion for this store. We've had lots of meetings about the new store uh, many years ago, and just an incredible, another icon in our community. And so thank you, Dr. Teddy McDavid, for all that you've done. Now, last but certainly not least, we've had a few neighbors on this back side that have put up with uh, construction, put up with trucks coming through, um, and I want to recognize them. They, the neighbors on McGregor Way have been true champions in support of HEB and the broader community. And I want to give a special shout out to Kathy and Jose Grignon. Are they here? We're Kathy and Jose. And also to Gwet Brooks um, and all the neighbors on McGregor Way. We appreciate your patience and we appreciate your support. Um, I'd also like to just take a quick moment and recognize the newly elected incoming councilwoman for District D, Carolyn Evans Shabazz. And before I turn the stage over to um, the mayor, oh, and I have a few other elected officials I'd like to recognize. Councilmember David Robinson is here. Thank you, David, for being here. HISD trustee Wanda Adams, I know she's here. And we've already recognized the incoming council member and current HCC trustee, Carolyn Shabazz. So, before I talk, turn it over, I want to share some good news. Metro has created the new 312 Grocery Shuttle. This temporary service begins tomorrow and will provide nonstop service every 30 minutes between the Southeast Transit Center, um, which is about a block from the OST and Scott store, and the new HEB McGregor Market. This 30 minute, every 30 minute shuttle will run from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So our goal is this is a store for everyone. This is a store for everyone. We want to ensure that they have an easy way to get here. Now, I'm gonna, it's my pleasure to turn it over to our newly re-elected mayor, uh, Mayor Sylvester Turner. We appreciate your support and leadership and, and uh, are so excited uh, to be sharing this with you as well. So, Mayor. Thank you, and you made me late at the front door. 
foundation for, for Malcolm all so I, a lot of one after the piece. So thank you, Linnell. You know, we love you. As uh, Linnell was talking, you know, I kind of, my kind of went back, you know, Terry, this journey started 15 plus years ago. And uh, we were right there at the center, right there at the heart of it. And so thank you. And I know what this means to you on this very special day. And we kind of reflect the fact that your wife, your mom, all being here. So what a special day. And then Lisa, you know, thank you all. The whole, the whole crew, the community out here. Uh, and then to have Brother Lawson to be here, who was instrumental in the first, you know, HEB store. And then some decades later, in the same month, for this store to be open as well, uh, the new and improved, you know, HEB, just is life. And what it demonstrates, as Vanell said, it has been a community collective effort. Uh, from city council members, to council members like Borkins, and, and others before, and Sense, and Reddick, and uh, all the people here, uh, people who have wanted more, deserving of more, uh, and today, uh, more is being provided. And so we'll give it up again to everyone that's been in the <laughs> Look, today is so full of progress in so many ways uh, that we may have a surplus of progress to give away. As Brunel said, it was just 10 months ago that we gathered uh, here to break ground on a cold day very much like today. I remember that day as if it was yesterday. And now, thanks to a public-private partnership that is unique to HEB way of doing business, we are ready to walk into a 90,000 square feet of transformation for the third war for the trade. Yeah. I, I want to thank HEB for being the first and only partners willing to participate with the city in this development arrangement. And that's no small deal. I want to thank you for believing in this neighborhood uh, the way all of us do. And again, it's not one person or two person uh, across the board. And for showing that we can use this kind of partnership to, brand, to bring brand new resources to this neighborhood, reflecting the goals of our Complete Communities Program, Shannon, in Third Ward, and nine other neighborhoods so far. And thank you to HEB for always being an excellent corporate citizen of Houston and of Texas. Scott, we appreciate HEB on so many different levels. And you all have always shown that you have a heart for community service, and that's demonstrated not just in the buildings, in the stores, but in the people. Uh, because over the years, even before I became mayor, talking with Terry on so many fronts, from Third Ward to Trade, to April Song to Fofo, uh, to Linnell, working with you in schools all across this community. What HEB has done and done well is that it's not just about the store, the structure, it's about having people working for the corporation that care and that represent the heart and soul of the people. In fact, around, yeah, around the day we broke ground here, a resident of the Third Ward told a local TV news crew that she was in the habit of driving to Bel Air or Paraland to get fresh groceries. I want you to I want that to sink in a little bit, that she was leaving the trade and going to Bel Air or Paraland to get the things that she wanted. And now we have a store with live cooking demonstrations, lots of heat and eat meals, an emphasis on Texas products, a health food section, and a way to order your purchases online and then pick them up at the curb right here in the trade. The new store team leader is a walking example of today's progress. Anika Wiley started working for HEB as a deli clerk in Austin. 
She earned her way up the ladder and managed to slow in Bona before coming here to the real big city. It kind of reminds us of the story of many of us that are standing here, coming from humble beginning, doing the best we could with what we had, and then opportunities open. And now Anika Wally will be the team leader of this particular store. This day even represents progress for the environment, as Wendell said. H-E-B McGregor Market is home to an active and protective wetland, and throughout construction, the team has made it a priority to preserve and enhance the natural habitat that borders the property along McGregor Way. And visitors will enjoy sightings of Cooper Hawks, Yellow Crown Night Herons, Red Mulberry Trees, and the American Tree Frog, to name a few, all in the center of the country's fourth largest city. So this day is a winning day for health. The economy, employment, neighborhood pride and collaboration, and I call that a very tasty combination. <laughs> and so I'm so excited, I know you all are. And then closing, I'm excited on another note. Because what is happening here today symbolizes Ms. Foster. That's what's happening here today can happen in other neighborhoods throughout our city. That's what I'm excited about. Because as we stand here at the H.E.B. McGregor store, other people in other neighborhoods are saying, Mayor, what about us? And that is a question that I've had to answer and over again. And what I have said to them is that this store represents hope for them. Because what we do here today, my hope is that over the next four years, we will replicate in other neighborhoods where there are food deserts and people are needing healthy options. And so that's why I'm excited. And I know with H-E-B and the people that they have, that the same caring and loving spirit that has brought this day will bring the same, same sort of uh, school in other communities who are waiting and needing the same attention. Because you can't just build up one sector. You have to build them all up. Because the same people that need the same things here are needing them elsewhere as well. And so now I have the privilege of bringing out the president of H-E-B, someone who's been on television so many times, <laughs> dressed in so many different uniforms, you know, communicating with so many different players. And I want you to know I've been so jealous. And I've said, one of these days, one of these days, I know Scott is going to extend an invitation. <laughs> One of these days. But someone who is a leader, because you can't get here without having a good leader, and that is the president of HEB, Scott McClellan. <laughs> Mayor, you would be so good on a commercial. I know. Uh, you would really be, really be great. You know, I don't think I've ever been colder than the day we broke ground. But I also don't think my heart has ever been warmer because we had more people show up for the groundbreaking for this store than we have than we've had show up for the grand opening for other stores. Which just shows up how which just shows how excited everyone was for this. And here we are today. And it's this much warmer. But it's going to be warmer tomorrow, I guarantee it. And it is going to be, it is really going to be good. You know, one of the things when we broke ground, people said, hey, is, is this store going to be as, as big as Westview? It's bigger. Is this store going to be as big as Montrose? It's bigger. Is this store going to be as big as Bel Air? It's way bigger. Like, this is as big and as good as we know how to do. And I think as you go in on the other side, you'll see we brought in some of our latest thinking. I mean, we even have a hot French bread warmer that I've not seen before as I walk through it. It has pieces in it that are brand new to H-E-B. And every time we build a store, 
we try to put in pieces that we're not in. I'm seeing Don Ontario over here who just opened our store up in Washington and Wa, and stores bigger than yours, and, and it even has some things your brand new store doesn't have in it, Donna, so. But as the mayor said, look, this, this getting this store open took a village. It took a lot of hard work by a lot of people, and, um, and we, we appreciate you placing the bet on us. And we said if you gave us the chance, we'd deliver. And I sure hope you think that that's the case, because I know this, we gave it our best effort. This store will employ 400 HEB partners. That's what it's all about. And we're excited about that, bringing job creation to the Third Ward in a store that we think will serve not just the Third Ward, but really will be a regional outpost all up and down 288. And that's something we think is going to be exciting about bringing uh, customers into this area, which will be wonderful. You know, there are 119,000 partners who work at HEB. And, and, I mean, all shapes, sizes, colors. I don't know if you knew this, but one of the partners who works for us was just named the one of the most fascinating people in Houston. And that would be Terry Williams, right here. I mean, you, you don't always have the most fascinating of anything working for you, but we do, and that's, and that's Terry Williams. Now, we not only needed a fascinating person to run this store, but as the mayor said, is we needed a capable person. And I've known Anika Wiley since she joined the company 20 some odd years ago up in Austin, and she moved down to Houston and then went out to Beaumont for us and opened a store for us out there and then came back to Houston because we handpicked who we thought was gonna be the right person to open this store. And she is a capable person, did a great job for us out in Beaumont. I think you're really going to like getting to know her. She's a she's a, a source of power, let me tell you. So without any further ado, let me introduce her to you. Anika Wiley, Anika. Hey, Anika. Anika. Oh, yeah. Hey. Anika Wiley, to the front, please. Anika, Anika Wiley, please come to the front. Experience for you. But before we get into it, 
I want to make sure we introduce to you our awesome Lisa Helfman. She is our Public Affairs Director for Houston Food and Drug. Come on up, Lisa. Okay. 